According to the communique released at the end of the two-day 15th Comesa Summit of Heads of State and Government, the economic grouping resolved to improve its conflict resolution mechanisms to avoid the hijacking of internal peace processes by the West, as is clear in the unfolding events in Libya, where NATO forces supported the rebels to dislodge Colonel Gaddafi. In his speech during the just-ended two-day Comesa Summit for Heads of State and Government, President Robert Mugabe bemoaned the situation prevailing on the global political front where the erstwhile colonizers are now reasserting their dominance on weaker nations using the locals. Small nations are living under fear. Europe has now once again raised its uh, venomous head. You see what's happening in North Africa? What's happening in Libya? And even as the African Union said, please leave us to handle the situation. Every one dialogue between the parties. That's our way of doing things. Foreign Affairs Minister Comrade Simbarashi Mbengegu attended the Council of Ministers meeting ahead of the summit said the economic bloc noted with concern the continued insecurity in Somalia and condemned all attacks including terrorist attacks and kidnapping of individuals by Al-Shabaab. He said the situation in Libya also came under discussion. It has become a serious problem in the sense that uh, trade within the Comesa region is becoming very difficult uh, because of the uh, increasing threat posed by pirates in that part of the country. The summit came at a time when a number of political developments have taken place in the Arab North which saw the removal of governments from power through mass uprisings. The leaders from Comesa reiterated the need for the respect of sovereignty and independence of Libya and called for dialogue to help bring to an end the ongoing conflict. Malawian President Professor Bengu Wamtarika assumed the chairmanship of the trade bloc from King Muswati III of Swaziland. Dorothy Mavulani, ZBC News.